In less than two weeks from right now, guys, we will be granted with access to the brand new Prison of Elders. And what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to show you what my build will be going into that. So you can get kind of a feeling for what is going to be crazy useful at that time and kind of what to expect overall in the entire thing. So right away, I'm going to be playing on my Warlock. There's no doubt that I will start the Prison of my Warlock. My main character, I am the most familiar with it. Just amazing character in general. So I'm going to jump right into it. Right off the bat, you're going to see that I'm wearing a couple of things. I am rocking the Sunslinger sub... The Sunslinger? Sunsinger. Sunslinger subclass along with a Helm of Light Beyond Nemesis and Iron Banner gear. Now, this may be kind of funny to some of you guys, but in my opinion, like I said, I have a video based on it before. Iron Banner gear has way better stats than Raid gear when it comes to pretty much anything other than the Raid. So that's that. Now, if we go into my Sunslinger breakdown, you'll see that I have the Fusion Grenade, which is honestly so good. It just, it does so much more damage and can drop a shield on an enemy so much faster than a lot of things, than a lot of other grenades in the game, in my opinion. And then if you move over to the jump, you have the Focus Burst. I prefer this one the most because you can just get out of places really fast. The Warlock really has an issue with like moving quickly when you jump, so this really helps with that. Um, Radiance, I always go with Fireborn on my Sunsinger. There's no chance that I would use any... Well, I mean, I'd use other things, but for the Prison, I know that Fireborn is going to be crucial. Those last-minute maybe self reses when our team's a little behind or we need some help, that's going to be what can make or break it for us. Now, another thing that I really, really enjoy is Flame Shield. Flame Shield, in my opinion, is one of the most, like, lifeline-style abilities that this game has to offer. If you're trapped and you have low health... Honestly, the ability to just run up to an enemy and punch him or her square in the face right in the gabba and pick up a full shield and have your health slowly regenerate is amazing. Arcane Force, toughness and speed. Um, I honestly just... Armor and recovery is more important than agility in my opinion. Viking Funeral. Enemies will, you ignite will burn longer. This just increases burn damage. Killing enemy, that's... I'm not... That's really not anything crucial. Sunburst isn't that good. Radiant will, I mean, unless you love, when you, if you love throwing grenades, go for it, but in my opinion, I don't give a shit, so Viking Funeral it is, um, again, focused on toughness at all costs, gotta get my freaking armor super high, or else I am a little squishy bag of stuff, and then, how he's Gift of Sun with the additional grenade, aim your weapon will in the air, will hold you in place for a short team, this is actually really bad, this can lead you into a lot of really bad places, you can get caught in the air, you can get sniped out of the air, and you just don't want to be in that situation, it is not a fun place to be in, touch a flame, ignite enemies causing damage over time, they do that anyway because they're fire grenades, sorry, that's the pointless ability. Moving on to the weapons, my hung jury, this is the gun I go to no matter what, I love this gun to pieces, it is incredible, I will not use anything else, maybe a touch, probably not, because the black spindle is so good, but yeah, my build on this guy is uh, my Spark IS-6, my, probably the only Skype, Skype, the only scope I actually like on this, the other ones are just not, uh -uh, not that one, that one's too big, I, yeah, just this guy right here, the first scope, replenish, whenever you unleash a super, that's Honestly, pointless. I never use that. Hand laid stock. Stability. That's a must. Un Grenader. When you reduce the cooldown of your grenade, that's awesome. Additional boost to range and your health is low. There's no point for that. This gun has crazy range anyways. Now on to the secondaries. Now you guys will see that I have a few weapons here. Right away, my black spindle. This is important. I don't have my uh, third. What's the well, fucking fusion rifle that I was using the other one? Plan C. I don't have it on me right now, but that will be on here when the time comes. Now, the spindle is a must. This gun is amazing. It will shred anybody. The fact, white nail, precision shot, when you land three, you reload completely. It's so nice. This will be crucial for those stunned bosses when you want to just put them down really quick. Do a ton of DPS since the impact of this gun is so high and the burn damage is high as well. Field choke, white nail, flared magwell, and mulligan. This is nice because this can, if you miss a shot and it doesn't like take it from your ammo, you can actually still have another chance to reload with white nail. Love that ability. It's amazing. Bredemart stand, fantastic machine gun. Would recommend it 10 out of 10 times to anybody. This is my favorite machine gun in the game so far. I love it to bits. It's just so good. It doesn't, there's not a ton of kick, really high impact, really high rate of fire. Not very much range, but that's okay. Um, currently, aggressive ballistics, spray and play, armor piercing rounds. That's important for taking down those high shields and army of one. Unassisted kills, reduced melee and grenade cooldown. That's what's amazing. I love it. Uh, sugary shell. This one's just because it's 320. There's nothing really special about that. Other than the intellect to discipline is decently high. Now, 
it's going to be kind of diff. I'm going to use this one for sure because it's my highest light. But if I get something else, I will be down to replace this. My Light Beyond Nemesis is really only crucial to use when you're doing trials or anything in a revive style game mode. So eh, not so much important. My Blind Jackal Mask, it's very good. But this has a higher light level. I mean, this one has a better intellect and strength roll but it's higher. So I will be rocking that on the first time that I play through it. If you guys want to see what the abilities I have on it, I have increased discipline, inverse shadow, because I gain increased super energy when killing minions of dark mints. That's great. Invigoration kills bonus enemy on or pickups. So this one just gives you more super energy. That's really awesome, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. My iron camelot gloves increase me melee attack speed, sidearms, 33 discipline, 47 strength. If you guys are noticing, my discipline build is incredibly high. 79 discipline, 49 discipline. Iron companion vestments. This gun is crazy. Awesome that you can carry more sniper rifle ammo. It's. I would recommend it to anyone. It's so good. I, if you're playing Iron Banner this week, make sure you get this for your Warlock or any other character you play on. The Iron Banner chest plates are so good. I cannot stress that enough. Iron companion legs. Increases am rocket ammo. Now this is awesome. I have my truth on me. I will be using that when the time comes. This guy is really good for taking out really large groups of small level enemies in an instant. It's just super quick because it has that, um, the whatever that ability is. Hold on, let me show you. It is called hand gr grenades and horseshoes. I always want to say horseshoes and hand grenades, but that's backwards. I don't know why it's like that. But that one's so good. It's just incredible. Now. The boots, on respawn weapon movement speeds are greatly increased. So you can get out of a place if you revive and you're in a terrible position. You can just get up and run the hell out of there and you have a full shield. It's perfect. Use that to your advantage. Worm God's Boon, only have that on because it's my highest. I mean, I could put it into my Wolf's Wood Bond, but eh, my Wolf's Wood Bond does not have as high of a strength increase, I guess. It's it's kind of balanced. I don't know. Manuminous Web, 73 discipline, 32 strength. Solar Grenades have a chance to generate an orb. All about the orbs, guys. Now, we'll go into my intellect and all this build. So, currently, you can see I have 152 intellect. This is about perfect for the Sun Singer because you gain super energy from this guy, this guy, and that guy. So, it goes really, really quickly as long as you're getting constant kills. Otherwise, four and a half minutes is not that long to wait. My discipline is actually a little over max right now. This is super crucial for the Sun Singer ability. Any ability that you run with a Warlock that you have grenades, you need to have high discipline. It is incredibly important. Like I said, strength, it's kind of a backup. You never really have to use it in a certain sense. Like only when you're panicking, only when you absolutely need to melee someone. It's not like you run around and punch people. So strength really isn't a big deal, but discipline, 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 super important, super good. These guys are still glitched. That will never go away. But yeah, guys, that is my warlock breakdown for prison of elders i hope you did enjoy it i hope it cleared up some stuff for you if you have any insight as to what i could put on that would be better or something that you use that maybe you want to know what you could put on to be better comment below guys i'll be sure to try to get you some info on that i hope i can and yeah that's that thank you guys for watching my name is gunner and we will see you guys in the next one stay awesome